Time management plays a huge role in the Persona series, and if you're not careful, you could be wasting precious days focusing on the wrong things. To help you out, we've rounded up some of the best tips to make the most out of your time in Tatsumi Port Island. Number one, social links. Persona 3 was the first game in the series to embrace the calendar-like structure. As you play through each day of the school year, you can decide who you want to spend time with and what you want to do. There are a ton of possibilities, but in most cases, the best use of your time is to focus on social links. There are 22 social links in total, one for each Persona Arcana, and they all stick to a schedule. For example, you can only strengthen your bond with Cause when the track team practices on Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday. Meanwhile, the team manager, Yuko, is only available on days when there's no practice. Maya, on the other hand, a gamer you meet online, is only available on her days off, which happen to be Sundays. So what is the benefit of strengthening your bonds? Unlike Persona 5, you don't unlock combat and exploration perks for each level. However, the stronger a bond is with a character, the more bonus experience you'll get when you fuse a Persona of that Arcana. For example, if you fuse a level 20 Chariot Arcana Persona, and you've leveled up Kaza's social link, that Persona will get a ton of bonus XP. This means you can create personas that are higher than your current level. Additionally, once you max out a social link, you can fuse a powerful persona of that arcana. If you want to get some of these powerful personas as soon as possible, we recommend mainlining Kenji and Kaz's social links as their personas have the lowest level requirements. I want to win, so I have to practice. Yeah, you're right. Number two, speed up social links. It can take a while to max out a social link. However, there are a few techniques that can speed up the process. The easiest way to push things along is by responding correctly to characters. If you say something a character likes, musical notes will appear and it will boost your relationship. I'm not proud of this or anything, but I couldn't care less what our customers think. This isn't always enough though. A way to get a little extra boost is by having a persona in your party that matches the arcana of the social link you're interacting with. This can be tough to do early on when you only have access to the Velvet Room in Tartarus, but eventually you'll unlock a Velvet Room door and Polonia Mall. A good rule of thumb is to summon personas that will help with whatever social link you're pursuing. If that's still not enough, you can swing by the shrine and make an offering to boost your relationship with a specific character. Keep in mind that this does pass time though so I'd only use it when you're desperate or have nothing else to do. Additionally, once Koromaru joins your team, you can take him for walks and you might run into a social link which will substantially increase your relationship. This is particularly handy because there aren't nearly as many social links available in the evening. Thanks. I know you're just trying to make me feel better, but I'll take it. Number three, social stats. Speaking of social links, some bonds require high social stats. In Persona 3 Reload, there are three major stats that can be improved over time. Courage, charm, and academics. By participating in different activities, you can increase these stats to open up new areas of the map and meet new characters. There are a ton of ways to increase these stats, such as working a part-time job, going out for dinner, going to the movies, and spending time with friends. There are even a few activities that don't waste any time that you should absolutely take advantage of. The most obvious ones are answering questions correctly in class to improve your charm, staying awake during a lecture to improve your academics, or falling asleep to improve your courage. Another way to boost your courage is to swing by the nurse's office after spending an evening in Tartarus. The nurse will give you a mysterious concoction that will net you points in courage without expending any time. For a quick boost to all your stats, it's worth dropping by Wild Duck Burger to take on the Big Eater Challenge. If you complete it, you'll get a boost to every single stat. Failed attempt still net you some courage, but here's the correct sequence if you want to nail it right away.
Social stats are especially important if you want to forge a bond between Yukari, Mitsuru, and Fuka. All three of them are romanceable, but you can't start any of their social links until you've maxed out charm, academics, and courage, respectively. If you don't mind my asking now, what kinds of books do you usually read? Number four, rewind. Said something stupid or failed a pop quiz? Don't fret, Persona 3 Reload added a rewind feature that basically works like autosave. Press start, go to system, and then to rewind. The game drops an autosave at the start of each free time section, so if you whiff a conversation or make a mistake, just reload. There's no penalty, but there are only a few rewind slots, so be sure to hard save every now and then just in case you want to roll back more than a few days. Number 5, Elizabeth. Around the same time the Velvet Door appears in Polonia Mall, Elizabeth will ask you to complete some simple requests. Typically, these requests involve fetching an item or fusing a particular persona. Most of them are super easy and net you some valuable rewards. Once you complete enough requests, Elizabeth will ask you to hang out. Doing so doesn't waste any time, and eventually she'll give you items that will let you summon powerful personas. You can also date her if you'd like. Number six, C's Hangouts. One of Persona 3 Reload's new features are the C's Hangouts. Shortly after Fuka joins your squad, Mitsuru will give you a tour of the dorm. This unlocks Hangouts, which are fully voiced scenes with your party members that can boost social stats, improve combat stats, and unlock new skills. However, these Hangouts do not increase social links. This may seem strange, but considering only a few members of your crew are social links, it shouldn't be too surprising. That's not to say that you should avoid these Hangouts, but I tend to prioritize social links over these. Number 7, Twilight Fragments. You can never have enough Twilight Fragments. As you explore Tartarus, you will come across a ton of chests that require one, two, or three fragments. As you'd expect, these chests typically carry the best loot, so it's in your best interest to collect as many Twilight Fragments as possible. Additionally, you'll find clocks throughout Tartarus that can fully restore your party's HP and SP for a hefty sum of fragments. The best way to get a lot of fragments is to level up social links and talk to Elizabeth. However, that's not the only way to collect them. Some can be found while exploring Tartarus, while others can be found throughout Tatsumi Port Island. When you're able to explore the world at your leisure, we recommend stopping by every hub area and keeping an eye out for little blue glints on the ground. Theoretically, you can find quite a few before you even set foot in Tartarus, meaning you should have no trouble clearing out the first few locked chests. Number 8, Tartarus. Unlike Persona 4 and 5, Persona 3 Reload consists of one massive dungeon that you'll return to numerous times throughout your journey. Every half dozen or so floors are separated by a mini boss, and after a few mini bosses, you'll come across a border floor. Border floors typically signify a change in Tartarus and are impassable until you've completed a specific story event. Early on, if you want to make the most of your time, we recommend knocking out Tartarus as quickly as possible, ideally in one evening. If if you manage to complete Tartarus in one day, that means you can spend the rest of the month on social links and social stats. However, this gets harder the further along you get, as it takes longer and longer to reach a border floor. Additionally, after rescuing Fuka, Elizabeth will tip you off on missing persons cases. These usually appear closer to the full moon and have strict time limits. So if you knock out all of Tartarus at the beginning of the month, chances are you'll have to return anyway to track down missing persons. You could wait until a few days before the full moon, but it may be tough to complete Tartarus and rescue all the missing persons in one go. I typically push as far as I can early in the month, but wait until the end of the month to finish up that section of Tartarus and gather up the missing persons. Persona 3 Reload can feel a tad overwhelming at times. There's so much to do on any given day, and it can be tough discerning what is and isn't worth your time. However, if you're finding it difficult to balance your schedule with everyone else's, maybe it's time to break out that notebook and take notes. Let us know your tips in the comments below, and thank you all so much for watching.